Hemus Sweat was a young man who grew up in Houston, Texas. His father was uh, an activist with the Postal Workers Mail Union. And Hemus Sweat was one of uh, six children and a very mild-mannered young person. He wanted to be a doctor. And during his growing up years and in his uh, college, studied biology at Wiley College and went on to study medicine. There came uh, a situation, there was a situation where people were separate. He grew up in uh, Houston, Texas and in a uh, uh, neighborhood that uh, certainly recognized and enforced separation in schools especially. Uh, his older siblings went to universities outside the state of Texas. He worked in the post office. Uh, and the NAACP at that time was trying to find ways to get uh, especially Negro colored Afro uh, students into uh, higher education. Uh, in state-supported schools. Uh, as things turned out, they were finding difficulty, even though they were winning, they were winning decisions back from the 1930s and even in the 1940s. And yet, the NAACP was anxious to find some way to get the Supreme Court to break down this separate but equal doctrine that they themselves had established uh, about half a century before. Uh, he was wet in working in the post office, uh, was not necessarily content. Uh, he worked with the NAACP. But an incident happened, especially in his life, where a Caucasian or white employee was promoted, where he felt that he should have been promoted. And that seemed to be the trigger point to, for him to step forward and make application to the University of Texas Law School with full confidence that he was going to be denied, but it gave the NAACP its, its best chance for the Supreme Court to overturn its previous ruling of separate but equal. 